I'm Jacques from Hobie and this is a quick start video for paddle series Hobie kayaks. We're going to be shooting a Hobie Quest today that'll show you the new Vantage seat and we're going to go through the boat and show you how everything works to get you on the water for the first time quickly. So all of our kayaks ship complete. Uh, they're ready to go right out of the box. Uh, they are going to come with an owner's manual. Um, you'll want to read this front to back, get familiar with how everything works on your kayak. Also, you're going to receive a parts and accessories catalog that has everything in here from uh, PFDs to fishing accessories, uh, just basically anything that'll go on our kayak is in this. It's also available online, so are the manuals. Um, the quests come with Lowrance Ready feature, so this will allow you to more uh, quickly install a Lowrance fish finder and all of the uh, accoutrements that you'll need for that are also included uh, with the boat. Along with those manuals, you're going to receive another package uh, which includes uh, a warranty registration card and some other gifts. Um, the registration card is also something that you can do online, uh, but that's, uh, that's going to come with your boat as well. So I think the first thing that you'll do with your kayak would be to assemble your kayak chair. Uh, this is the Vantage CT. It comes in uh, basically two pieces. We ship the screws in a little packet here. You'll see where these go together. You'll basically just start it finger tight like so, and then you'll just need a number two Phillips screwdriver to get those going. And you just want to snug that up. You don't want it to be super tight because it's going to obviously pivot on this screw. There's a thread locker that's part of the screw. So now we're ready to install the seat. Uh, the way this goes in is you basically just set it in place. You'll want to make sure that this bar is elevated a little bit. If it's all the way down, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to install. But if you've got this bar up slightly, the way you adjust that is right here. It just rolls up and down. So I've raised that slightly. You rest this in place, and then what you do is you lift up in the back while pushing down in the front, and that'll click it on. You test it just by making sure that it's locked on by lifting. And last step is you're gonna hook up this buckle, and that'll keep the seat from falling out of the boat. And basically that's the install. The one thing you do wanna take note is the, the side lines here. The way these are run, just make note that you've got them run correctly. You want these to go sort of underneath this direction. You don't want them coming in front. What that will do is that'll cause a, a friction point here and it's not gonna allow you to recline all the way. That is a common error for people to make. So just make sure that they're behind like so. So some of the adjustments that you can make on the Vantage CT chair are obviously the seat back. There's a lever here, you can just reach behind your back. Um, you pull it, it automatically will sort of go forward when you lean forward, or if you lean back, it'll go back. It's got a pretty wide range of adjustment. Uh, next is a lumbar support here. So it, it depends on uh, the individual user, but you can, you can actually have that be a little bit more dished. So you have less lumbar, or you can tighten this up, and you just you loosen it by popping that out and you tighten it by pushing it back in after it clicks and then you turn that dial and you get it a little bit tighter here. Uh, then there are height adjustments for the rear and the front. Uh, right now we're in the high position on the 13 there's three adjustments for the height of the rear. On the 11 there's two positions um, and the reason being is it's just a little bit lower on the 11 so it's not as tippy because it's a smaller boat. So your front adjustment uh, is right here. So if you want a little more support under your legs, uh, you can raise that up. And for the rear, it's right here. You just unweight the chair slightly, lift up, and then that'll deploy the legs in the back and that'll raise up the bottom. And I'll pop the seat out now so you can see another feature. This is called our uh, speed drain right here. So underneath your, your leg in the front, you've got a little, little handle that says drain. When you pull that, that will evacuate any water that's in the seat pan area down the drain. And then if you uncleat it, there's a, a bungee here that closes up. So that'll keep any water from coming in. As long as you've got some forward momentum, the water, it has a, a like a, a little guard on the bottom. It'll create a venturi effect and it'll take the water right out of here. These pedals are easily adjustable. You just move them up and out of these notches. Uh, I'm a 30 one inch inseam and I run them pretty much in the middle. So if you're shorter, uh, if you have a shorter inseam, you're gonna come back like this. These pedals also, you'll notice they've got uh, pulley here. 
that's for the optional rudder system that you can add and that way the, the foot controls are your rudder controls. Our paddles are going to be a two-piece paddle with a fiberglass shaft, nice composite blade, they're stiff, they're efficient. Um, you'll install your drip rings on either side. The way that these go is uh, it's got sort of a cup shape that's going to go out, outward on the uh, outboard side of the paddle. I'll just install this. Once these are on, they'll just stay on. You won't take these on and off. You don't want to go all the way out to the edge. You want to kind of stay up a little bit. The, the point of these is to keep the water from dripping on you. That's why they call them drip rings. And you'll just install the paddle like such. There's a little push button. And that's a centered uh, equal paddle, or you can feather it uh, for more advanced paddling. There are two paddle holders on either side. So depending on where you want to rest that, you just put it on the side like that, lift the bungee over the pad eye, and that holds it in place. All quests are going to come with three hatches. There are eight inch hatches in the center and the rear. Uh, the way these operate is they have a uh, handle that you just turn 180 degrees and it pivots open on a hinge. It's got a nice water uh, seal here. It's an O-ring seal. The kayaks are also going to ship with gear buckets so you can put uh, different gear and, and whatnot here. The way these install into the hatch is they, they basically just rest on this ring inside and it allows you to close the hatch still. And on the front hatch it's got a large opening. This is kind of more molded into the kayak. Uh, there's also an accessory hatch liner that you can buy for the front of your kayak if you want to keep everything in one area. Otherwise you know, things can kind of move around in the hall. It's really up to you. And you'll always want to keep your hatches closed and locked when you're on the water. So from the back of the boat to the front, I'll just cover some of the things that are included. Um, the quests are going to have a replaceable wear guard on the keel, on the back of the keel, which is nice. Uh, you got your drain plug here. You always want to make sure that that's tight. Just hand tight. You don't want to use any tools on that because that'll crush the O-ring. You've got carrying handles front and rear. Uh, your rear cargo area is, is really large. You can uh, put a live well back here. You can store your cart. Uh, speaking of carts, they actually use these rear scuppers. And that's where the cart will come through. You see your Lowrance ready scupper there. Uh, kayaks come with these scupper plugs, so if you want to keep the water from coming in, uh, you can use these. It's up to you. I, I usually leave them out because uh, I don't weigh that much, so the water doesn't really come in. It's got molded in rod holders in the back. Um, you can add all sorts of rod holders like Ram, Rod, Scotty. There's all types of uh, accessories that you can add along the deck area here as well. And uh, that's in our parts and accessories catalog. Uh, again, you've got the center hatch, you've got bottle holders, you got side carrying handles. And the Quest cockpit's really roomy. It's got this great center stack here that you can add like electronics, uh, if you want to have a display here, you can put water bottles under here. This bungee holds it in place. It's a really neat cockpit design. That's your quick start video. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to your dealer. You can also find a lot of this information on our website, hobiecat.com. Click on the product support link, uh, download the manuals, your catalogs, things like that. And just look for us on YouTube. Just search Hobie Cat on YouTube and you'll find lots of uh, useful rigging videos and things that will help you out if you want to accessorize your kayak in the future. And we'll see you on the water. Have a great day.